According to officials there, the death toll now tops 3,600 and counting. More than 1,000 are still missing. The government estimates that 2 million people are in desperate need of food. 2 million. And despite the obstacles and the clear difficulties the government is having in getting relief to those who desperately need it, some in the Philippine media would rather focus on the government's image. A radio host in the Philippines, who just happens to be married to the country's interior secretary, accused our own Anderson Cooper of coming on the lead and claiming he saw no presence of the Philippine government on the ground in Tacloba. Only problem is Anderson never said that. Anderson Cooper joins us now live from the Philippine capital, Manila. Anderson, welcome. Good to see you. On Tuesday, you described to me the crowded scene at the crippled Tacloba airport. Survivor, survivors huddled there. You expressed surprise that the government hadn't gotten a better handle on the situation, but you never said that there was no Philippine government presence on the ground. What's your reaction to this bizarre and inaccurate attack? Why do you think she said that? Uh, you know, I'm not really clear. I, I don't know who this person is. I mean, I know she's the wife of the, uh, you know, of the, the interior minister who I, I guess also was under the impression that I said this because he came looking for, uh, for me when I was on the ground in Tacloban. Um, but uh, I, I don't really know. I mean, she's some sort of a radio host or something, and, and this is what she said. You know, obviously, uh, having been on the ground there, we were reporting what we were seeing, and of course, there's plenty of Philippine uh, military and police uh, presence at the airport and at roadblocks. You know, one of the things I, I was saying that is that I, out in the field, even half a block away or half a mile away from the airport, where people's bodies are laying out, where families are searching for their lost loved ones, they have seen no help. And you know, mothers who are searching for their dead kids have gotten no help in that search from from rescue workers, according to all the mothers I've been talking to who are there. And I've been going back day after day after day to check in on if they've been getting any assistance to try to search for their lost children. Um, so I was saying that in Japan, you know, we saw government, we saw military uh, uh, soldiers, uh, national defense soldiers, the day after the tsunami going block by block systematically and just walking through the wreckage looking for, for bodies or anybody who may be alive. You know, the, I think politics are involved with this. I think, you know, the federal government is concerned about criticism they might be getting. Local authorities are pointing fingers at the federal government. Federal government is pointing fingers at local authorities. The bottom line, the only thing that matters, I mean, that this is all just kind of a bizarre sideshow. The only thing that matters is, is what's happening on the ground and is aid getting to people who need it most. And clearly there have been you know, a big delays, uh, big lack of organization on the part of the, the, the Philippine government uh, on the ground there. That is starting to, starting to get better. There's starting to, to be more food distribution by the World Food Program and others. But it's, uh, it's certainly been far too, uh, too long. And, you know, time, time is the enemy of, of people when you're desperate for water and desperate for food and medical attention. And Anderson, regardless of what their government may or may not be doing, you've seen some incredible resilience uh, from the people of the Philippines. Tell us about that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I just keep thinking about this, and I can't stop thinking. I mean, the strength that it takes, not just to survive a storm, but the strength it takes to, for a mother to survive the aftermath of the storm when six of her children are dead, and when, when she can't find three of their bodies, and... and you know, when, when a mother can't find water to give to her thirsty child. I mean, the strength that it takes, now, on, in, even in a good day, you know, to live in a shack and deal with the, 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 the indignities of, of the poverty foists and forces upon people. Um, the, the people in the Philippines are incredibly dignified, and in the, in, in the face of, of very little help all this past week, they have been standing tall with humor. I mean, people laughing, you know, is finding ways to smile even amidst the heartbreak and and it's just it's it's a privilege to see Anderson Cooper in Manila thank you.